Welcome to Tourism Talk. I'm your host, Mary Hammond, director of the Paducah Convention and Visitors Bureau. My guest today is J Jessica Perkins, and she's the marketing manager at Paducah Renaissance Alliance. Welcome, Jessica. Thank you. Glad to have you here. It's nice to be here. Now I know there are some people going, Paducah Renaissance Alliance, what's that? I know, but it's uh, this is a, a group that evolved from Main Street, mm -hmm. still has Main Street, still continu Main Street continues program. to be a, um, a part of the National Main Street program, still has those f four points, uh -huh. four points, it's still basic four points of, of Main Street, but it's expanded as um, and growth and, cha and change, it's not easy. I've been there, we're still there, our whole community is growing and changing, but how positive can that be? I'm really excited um, about your office. Um, yeah, those changes hurt. Yeah, it, well, it's been a really good experience I for agree. us mm -hmm. in that we're able to now marry the downtown and historic lower town into yes. one district called the Renaissance area. So we're excited because it allows us to highlight how they complement each other and it allows us to be involved in both areas and to highlight Paducah's finest local qualities. We have so much to work with. We're so fortunate. And people who are visiting here or people in Paducah, people who aren't with their offices right there. Right. And we actually know the streets. Uh -huh. I know before I came to work downtown, I got all those streets all mixed up. I couldn't tell you which which street was the corner of uh, the Irvin Cobb was even on. But now Paducah and Lower Town, we're a united front. We're working together all on the same page, moving forward. And if now if we can just get the riverfront and get the hotel right. and we're going to be in good shape. <laughs> I mean, we just about have all our ducks in a row. <laughs> yeah, well, and the riverfront development actually kicks off this summer, so you'll start seeing some progress moving its way across. That's great. Now, where it starts, though, isn't at the foot of Broadway. I mean, when you start a project, you have to start from the ground level up. Right. And our ground level up just happens to be over to the... Schultz Park. Schultz Park, farther mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. Actually, even than that, where the... Um, boats would be, uh, uh, help me out here, the pleasure lake. boats would be docking and right. fishing boats kind of on the other side of the executive inn. Yes, yes. I'd have to look at a map to tell you I exactly know. where. <laughs> We're digging a hole here, Jessica. We yeah. vowed we weren't going to do that. <laughs> but yes, it will start over around the Schultz Park area yes. and you'll start seeing, okay. you'll see Good. the beginnings of that. And of course, Good. it'll be several years before the project is complete. Right. Get those foundations in there. Exactly. And anytime you have development, you have to, uh, it's not like you just go out there and plump something on the, right down on the riverfront. It, the whole thing has to be worked. Right, right. And, uh, and all of our partners aren't in line yet with the hotel, although the mm -hmm. Carroll Convention Center looks fabulous. Well, and we had so many positive comments. That was something that was done under the direction of Steve Doolittle yes. in our office. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it, it came together very quickly, and Ray Black and Son stepped up and did the job, did it well. It's a beautiful center. The quilters were happy. The oh, I wish I had a show was wonderful. It was, and I wish I had a microphone for all the, the wonderful comments that we heard, and we're, yeah. we're still getting uh, on those blogs, and that's fun. <laughs> well, and it opens the city up to be able to host more conventions. Yes, and you know. wood soon. Yes, yes. <laughs> soon. So, if you're listening to this, and there's a chance you have a reunion or a meeting or statewide meeting, regional, you need to be calling our office. Um, and we really want to work with you to get those meetings back in Paducah because we've had some, a, a period here where we've not had a lot of meetings. But how fortunate we are that some folks have stuck with us through thick and thin. Yes. And uh, it's good. Well, and we've good. gotten some calls already from groups who are excited mm -hmm. about being a part of the new convention center. Yes. And so that's, that's all going in the right direction. Oh, it is. We're, we're, we're very blessed. Well, let's talk about an event that's coming up soon. Um, and it's exciting, something that's been going on for seven years. This will be the seventh year. Well, and this is the, the Lower Town Art and Music Festival. And, uh, but there's a little bit different this year. Why don't we just start with how are you gonna kick this off? Well, we will actually kick off the event with, a, with our Bubble Q event on Friday night. That'll be May Friday, the 22nd. 22nd. And if those, those who buy their tickets will actually get a special preview of the festival that evening. They'll get okay. to go through the galleries and galleries will have wine and cheese and things of that nature. It's a good chance for you to meet the artists and to get a feel for what's going to happen before everybody else gets to see it. There will be live music, there will be food and champagne and all of those things to celebrate the 7th annual Lower Town Art and Music Festival. Will it, um, the bubble queue itself, there be, have music? Yes, there's live music. It'll be music by the Mer Vegas All Stars. Oh, we like them. Yeah, you so can dance to Murray. their, their uh -huh. music. That's good. Yeah. I remember last year 
and there were people dancing in the street. I loved it. Yes, and it'll be this year. It's an outdoor. It's an outdoor festival, so we made it an outdoor sure. event for Bubble Q, um, just to tie the two together. For is that this night. Um, headquartered over around the Texaco station? Mm -hmm. It is. It, mm -hmm. it begins at the corner of right by the Texaco, the corner of Seventh Street and Madison Street. Okay. Um, I you know we're going to run through this because I, we all get confused. You get Broadway, Jefferson, Monroe, then Madison. Then Madison. <laughs> so, yes. Or if you're coming from Park Avenue, yes. then it's Harrison, then Madison. Okay, so uh, you know it's just hard for us to get it in our, our heads, and one of these days it'll be just like, um, you know, one, two, three, four. You'll just know them that fast. Right, right. But uh, we're we're all still still trying to get it in our heads. Yeah. So that night, uh, after work on that Friday night, mm -hmm. come on over. Yeah, and, just buy your ticket in advance. You can buy it through the Paducah Renaissance mm -hmm. Alliance office. Mm -hmm. That number is four 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 eight six four nine. You can get information on the organization and what goes on in the Lower Town Arts District from the PaducahArts.com mm -hmm. website. And basically, then the next day we'll kick off the festival at 10 a.m. So this year's festival is May the 22nd, I'm sorry, May the 23rd and 24th. Okay, a Saturday and a Sunday. And a Sunday. Saturday morning, bright and early. Mm -hmm. Now, all right, Bubble Q, I want to back up for just a minute. Oh. You have sponsors that have tables and that kind, of, right. that kind of thing. But the general public, if I decide that afternoon I want to go and get some friends to go over, mm -hmm. and how much would a, just a, like a general admission? It's kind a $50 of? ticket. Okay. And then that, and that um, allows you to have all of the good munchies at the yeah you'll have um, you'll have drinks mm -hmm. you'll have food you'll have the live entertainment those mm -hmm. who purchase tables will actually get the benefit of the preview party mm -hmm. and this year's this year's event will have we're really kicking off an experiential tourism initiative in the city sure. and you know that yes. because you guys are doing a lot of that as it's well partners. yeah <laughs> yeah we're partnering on that and we are tying that into our fest into our Good. excuse me our bubble Q event in that you will actually be able to purchase an experience. So you might be able to be Brian Lasco at the Carson Center for a day if you're willing to pay the right price at the auction and things like that. There's lots of people in our community who are basically going to let you be in their shoes sure. for a day. So well, that's, that's something you can't do everywhere. Sure. It'll be an well, experience. Well, and the other type of experience within the galleries themselves. Will those experiences be going on as well? I, um, I know during Quilt Show, um, the girls that came in to visit me from, from Georgia, they went to um, Working Artist. Mm -hmm. And one day they did <clears throat> the fabric the marbling. marbling. Yeah. And then they went back and did the paper marbling. Mm -hmm. And it was it, it, wonderful. And I think they were surprised they could do it. And yeah. And really had a good time. Well, there's those things won't necessarily be going on during the bubble queue, right. but they will be going on during the festival during itself. During the festival. And during the festival, which is still evolving, as you, as you know, Seven is just hitting, hitting its stride sure. in any festival. Um, that you can go around to the different galleries and they'll be doing all, a lot of them having um, experiences. Well, right, <laughs> you'll be doing workshops and art classes. It's kind of an opportunity. This year's festival is a lot different than years past right. in that we realized and our artists have stepped up to, to help us accomplish this, that we have so much local talent. We have local musicians, we have local poets, we have fine artists. We have performers, all these yes. people are in our community. So this year we decided to open it up to the local community, lower tone artists. Um, any of the other artists in Paducah mm -hmm. who want to be involved are welcome to be a part of that festival instead of inviting out of towners. So that's where it'll be a little different. You'll see the galleries with a little more focus on workshops and things right. where people can come in and get their hands dirty. You'll have opportunities to see local musicians but mm -hmm. we'll still have some regional musicians you'll still see out-of-town artists who have relationships with some of our local artists um, Frank Gee is actually going to be at Aspire Arts which yes. is Jay and Janet O'Rourke right. studio and, and gallery space so you'll want to check them out there will be a variety of trunk shows that you'll want to check mm -hmm. out Aphrodite Aphrodite excuse me gallery will have events going on there she's a jewelry maker sure. and you'll want to see kind of what she's got going on so there won't be in the streets how there have been. Well, they will be. There, there will be some mm -hmm. in the streets, but yeah. not um, out-of-town vendors who came and set up. And then right. uh, I know 
in, sometimes in the past, the artists themselves were out volunteering, so they weren't manning their galleries. Mm -hmm. We had all these visitors who weren't seeing and they weren't, weren't what, seeing we were what, highlighting. what we had, yeah, exactly. what Paducah has. So I'm excited about that. I think it is time for us to highlight what we have and an opportunity for us to know the artists, to call them by name. Yeah. Um, and to know, to know who they are and they are part of our community. Get to know your neighbor. Well, and there aren't very many art festivals that are housed in a city of our size mm -hmm. that can actually pull on a festival with local people only or local artists only. Right. So to have 22 participating galleries, it's pretty that's, significant that's, yes. for a town the size of Paducah. And we're really proud of that and feel like other people need to see what Paducah is really about, that you can come here and have all those experiences. Well, you've, um, we have some cheat sheets here to look. <laughs> um, I'm not familiar with Frank Gee, but he's uh, China-born, mm -hmm. and he'll have some Asian philosophy uh, that comes across in his art. I, yeah. That sounds interesting. I'd like to, to see that. Of course, Beverly Hayden, we love Beverly. She's from Paducah. Mm -hmm. and she, she was recently featured on iList. She yes. was an iDate of the week, so you've seen a little bit of her recently anyway. Well, we still want to see the slides of her Vietnam trip. Yeah. So she could do just that, and we'd I love know. it. <laughs> and the ca Canvas Room is celebrating their first anniversary. We're uh, very proud to have an art supply store in mm -hmm. downtown. Um, Kawanga, am I saying it right? Yes, Kawanga you are. Kawanga Studio. She'll actually have a booth space on the street, so you'll see good see her batik and watercolors and mm -hmm. stephanie graves will be there i love batiking i would really like to try doing that of course deb lyons we love deb so you get all kinds of dixie leather works everybody uh, has got activities going on they do and like you were talking about uh, working artist studio mm -hmm. she'll have a booth this year she'll have her gallery open as well uh, but they will be marbling papers down on the street so you'll be able to see that something different this year as far as experiences we're bringing in a mobile glass blowing unit. Oh, that's cool. It's called Juicy Lucy, so you'll want to watch for that. And they'll do demonstrations, mm -hmm. but it'll also give people a chance to blow their own glass. And that's really? something that you've probably never seen in Paducah. So this will be sure. a really neat experience for families to bring their children down to see how it works, mm -hmm. but to actually get to do it themselves. Now, where will Juicy Lucy be set up? She will be on the corner of, um, talk about street yes. memorization. I knew you were going to ask me that. Was it like... Um, <laughs> I, She's going to be really close to etc. So they're between Sixth and Madison. That's between they're between Monroe and Madison. Yes. So it'll be yes. be near there. Okay. Yeah. So you'll you won't be able to miss it. It's a big Good. van. You'll see the glass blowers, oh, yes. the barricades. And the egg and I has got several artists for five artists. That's, yeah. There's a lot going on there. I've not been able to be there when Carol is actually carving her eggs, but I've seen them um, in progress. The final product. And talk about almost a surgeon's uh, eye and steady hand. Yes. There's a lot of talent in Lower Town. There's a lot of people there that the rest of the community has never met and this is a great opportunity yes. to start getting to know them and I think it's important for the students in our community mm -hmm. to get some first-hand exposure because a lot of students don't have access to an artist the way they do here in Paducah. And this is uh, uh, Memorial Day weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, there's you know, I always say, even though it's maybe warm, it's not warm to how it's going to be. Right. And it's the very end of that little bit of a spring mornings when it's nice and cool. And I love it that the festival has always started out with actually almost sun worship in the morning with a, with yoga and uh, activities. And mm -hmm. will that be happening yep. again? There will be yoga this year. There will actually be more this year than I think we were able to do last year. Nicole Brown with the Yoga Center yes. has agreed to come out and do community classes during the weekend. So you'll be able to right. find their tent and do that. Something else kind of unique is May Nally Cinema is participating this year. Oh, cool. And they're doing a workshop that teaches people how a storyboard is formed, which is the first step in making a movie. So that's okay. something that's really unique. Well, and that's the beginnings of their 48-hour mm -hmm. film, mm -hmm. film festival. festival. Right. We're going to have to do a show on that. <laughs> I don't quite understand, yeah, but, yeah, but this will be the beginnings of it, so we'll be learning. Definitely. So there is an opportunity here to find out, uh, find that inner <laughs> artist in you, because exactly. we all do have it, and it may be a different way. It may be the yoga. It may be the, the music. It may be one of the many, many forms of art that we have, but now's the time to come down and, and discover that. Um, a lot of businesses, you know, are as we work through this experiential tourism, right. I have trouble with that word, <laughs> um, that businesses are finding that 
if they have retreats and include the arts, that their people are more creative. Yeah. Well, and I think each of us wants to have a creative outlet, and we just need to find out what it right. what it is and how it's going to be manifested. Uh, whether it's through music, you know, the songwriters group is mm -hmm. actually going to be down there okay. leading a beat workshop. There will be the Paducah Writers Group is going to help with poetry workshops. So there's lots of creative outlets for people to get involved in and, and get a, get, just get a taste of it. It's, very, it's not intimidating. I think sometimes the arts are intimidating for people. Right. And this is a chance be. for it to be very approachable and friendly. So once more, what website should they go to? Go to paducaarts.com. It's easy. And you can get there, Paducah Arts. It's got all of our music lineup. Mm -hmm. This year's headliner mm -hmm. is Yo Mama's Big Fat Booty Band. Say it one more time. Yo Mama's Big Fat Booty Band. It's just fun to say. <laughs> How can you not smile when you say the name of I the band? I know. <laughs> We've got some groups from St. Louis. Salt of the Earth is coming. On the One is a jazz band from San Diego. Cool. We've got a lot of local musicians, Bon sure. of the Mash. Um, Lou Jeton will come sure. back for blues this year. So get on that website, paducaarts.com, Paducah and all of that information will be listed. And much as um, Summer Festival did for years, I've seen this happening with the Arts and Music Festival, that you may not be familiar with some of those artists, and then all of a sudden, during the next year, you're going, ah, they were here. Yeah. I know. And so uh, we've just really been on the cusp in, in, in having people. I'm trying to think, the, the girl, it was... Robinella. You know, Robinella was, was one, and uh -huh. then... Uh, the, uh, there's been several artists, but over the uh, over the years, it's like I, I know them now, and I really see them. Yeah, and they're more visible than they've ever. Shakira. I mean, she was here what four years ago or five years ago. She's everywhere. Well, and if you get on our website, you'll actually be able to go to the link to view to hear some of their music. So that when you go, oh, that's cool. Sometimes it's more fun to go to a concert if you know what you're getting into, and so that's a good way to check out a lot of those artists. Big fat. Yo Mama's Big, Big Fat, fat booty, booty Band. <laughs> <laughs> Practice saying that three times fast. <laughs> yes, it's hard, it's hard to say that seriously. <laughs> Where are they from? They're from Boone, North Carolina. Okay. And so they'll be coming in. They do, um, they do a very lively show, and they guarantee sure. that you'll bounce. <laughs> that's oh, what their good. tagline. Well, and Boone's so. a, a little bit of a conservative community, so they're not too out there. No, you they are You can have fun, but if you're accepted in, in, in Boone and they know you and love you, it's okay. It's very family friendly. That's it's good. A, a funk band, but very family friendly. Good, good. We like that. Yeah. We like that. Um, all right, but you've also got DJ Urban Cobb, our mm -hmm. own. Yes. We love that. And of course, he gets assisted. I get DJ LJ. <laughs> Lily, Lily Jean Shapiro helps him out from time to time. And I bet Lily makes her way down on Saturday. Well, we'd love the 23rd. to. 23rd. Need all ages to make That's a festival right. successful. And he'll kind of get us, get it warmed up. Um, Amy LeVere will come on right after yeah. him. He, she is very kind of a folksy sound, not yeah. exactly like a Robinella, but similar in the independent music. Well, scene. and if she's been on NPR's World Cafe, that kind of tells you right yes. there. And you know we'll love her. Yes. Cause she's good. And she's been all over Europe and the mm -hmm. United States. And she's actually, she currently resides in Memphis, so it's not too far. Good. And Salt of the Earth, I think that sounds great, kind of a, 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 of our roots. Yeah. That's a guy in uh, with some people in St. Louis that are coming in. They heard about us through NPR in St. Louis. Cool. And so wanted to come down and be a part of it this year. And I know that you sit back and everybody wonders, you know, now what do you all do? You know, you're the marketing person and tourism, but the folks here in Paducah don't always see what we're doing. Right. And trying to get people to come here. Um, you know, any business here, it's hard to make a living off of just us. Right. And we require the regional people. We requ require the visitors to come from our, uh, from all over. And yeah, I-24 brings them through. But those major markets of Chicago and St. Louis and Nashville, and they do come. They're here. They do. And it does help the economy, and it helps oh businesses it, keep going through some down yes. seasons. I would really like to do one of these shows and um, have Rosemary Steele, our marketing director, and you as marketing manager, to show what we're doing and how we're working together and how we're reaching out to cover those markets right. um, mm -hmm. to this experiential tourism, uh, uh, all of the <clears throat> the create creativity that's in our community um, from here at the college. And I mean, and, you know, if you'd use just this group um, from from what we where we are right now here in the television right. studio to the focus series to the backstage passes, that just gives you a little bit of to their chorus, community chorus, 
and that's just one segment of our community. Uh, we're fortunate in a town our size uh, to have such talent, and uh, we're bringing it all together. Well, and we do our Paducah Arts monthly newsletter, and if you saw how many events are going on yes. just in Lower Town and Downtown alone, you know, and that's another opportunity to get more information. There's tons of things to do in Paducah. The quality of life here is incredible. It is. And if someone wants to be on your newsletter, mm -hmm. they can go to paducaarts.com and they can work their they way through register. to sign up. And the same on ours, paducah.travel. Paducah, uh, right. um, ours is a little bit more geared towards the visitor. Of course, that's what we do. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get the, the people to come here to spend the night because if they spend the night, they're spending more money. And you know, we need that, that outside dollars here. We need that fresh money. Not right. that um, uh, it isn't important to support our, ourselves and the local businesses, mm -hmm. but we also need that new influx of money. Well, and I think there's a lot of people in our community who are not familiar with Lower Town, for whatever reason, haven't made a trip down there. Mm -hmm. and this is a great opportunity to get connected and kind of know what's going on in your community so that you can support it and, and be a part of what makes Paducah very unique among a myriad of other things that makes us unique. Well, and find out why these artists came to Paducah. What are they seeing that you're missing when you look at your own mm -hmm. community? Um, I went to dinner last night uh, to a restaurant out by the mall and was talking to the server. And he had lived here and um, moved away and came back and was asking about the activities. He really wants to be a part of it. How right. do you begin? Well, <clears throat> begin by coming down to the festival. Mm -hmm. um, seeing the art, meeting the artist, hear the music, getting to be a Bon and the Mash fan. Right. <laughs> we are part of the fan club. We <laughs> love them. Uh, get to know these folks and then find out where they're playing and go see them again. Get to know the other folks that have that same appreciation that yeah. you do. Well, and you know, there are studios like Studio Miska, which is Frida Fairchild. And yes. when you actually go into her studio and watch what she's doing, and she's very good at allowing you to come in and walk you through her process, Things that seemed very simple and you didn't understand how, it, you know, it didn't seem that complicated, you realize how complicated it really was. And you have a greater appreciation for what each of these sure. artists are doing. And people like Bill Renzulli have no mm -hmm. problem at Gallery 5 showing you this is how you can go about buying art so that you are educated and don't feel intimidated by the process. And, and all of them are very approachable people. They love having visitors. They're very friendly, hand, you know, do sure, a lot of hands-on sure. activity to engage people. The stage will be set up across from the Texaco station? Mm -hmm. There will be two music stages this year. Oh, one, really? Cool. One will be across from the Texaco, mm -hmm. just like last year. Mm -hmm. That's where our headliner mm -hmm. will be in our big, big music stage. We'll also have another one down at the corner, um, at the end of 6th Street, right before Harrison. So it'll be a smaller stage, but it'll, it'll showcase a lot of our local talent as well. What's on that corner? What do you think? Is there, there's it's not a lot. It'll, so the, yeah, it's lot. just down from Etc. Okay. and Mentor House. So okay. it's just past all that. Okay, I'm getting in my, I'm getting yeah, in my Yeah, I was mind. trying to go through yes, <laughs> without a map in really. front of me. And you, there is a map on your website. There in is. In fact, uh, I think everyone in the office has printed it out because mm -hmm. we, it, um, and it's good. You can see each building and see. So if you can go down, okay, we're going down another three buildings and we'll be here at right. this gallery. Really get it in your head. Uh, that'll help yeah. you out. And it'll be a big festival. You'll see a lot of things going on in the galleries this year. You'll see a lot of activity mm -hmm. on the streets. Um, just a mixture of food vendors, art vendors, demonstrations. Ooh, what kind of food vendors? Well, you'll just have to come check it out. <laughs> well, of course, you have to have barbecue. We have a couple. We do. We have some local vendors that have agreed good, to participate good. this year. Well, I was. Uh, I know last year that it was a, a, a nice surprise um, to see the vendors. Not all, all of them were expected vendors, uh, mm -hmm. so it was. You'll see a couple from last year. Good. You'll see a couple new ones. All right. Now, do you have to do tickets? That process is still being worked out. Okay. Well, I won't tell you my opinion. <laughs> we'll go with the flow. Um, yeah, you know, it's I, I understand both sides. Right. Sometimes the ticket can be easier and sometimes the cash, but we'll just go with the flow. Whatever you decide, just let us know. Okay. <laughs> It'll be on the website. Music starts 10 o'clock on Saturday morning mm -hmm. and then goes to what, midnight? It goes till about 10, 10. p.m. You have to remember you are in a neighborhood with people living right there. Yes. And then Sunday morning? Starts again at 11 a.m. and okay. goes to 4. So you can still make church, go to mm -hmm. early church, get down there, or you can be one of the sun worshipers and, and have your own quiet time yeah. meditating. Well, and the yoga center would be a, 
a great place for you to do that, to come down and get a feel for what that's about. I agree. All right, let's, so let's run over the, the dates here again. Bubble Q on Friday night, come down after work. Mm -hmm. um, May the 22nd. May 22nd. Then Saturday morning starting at 10. Music all day, food all day, artists open all day. All day. Um, get to know the artist. It's the same on mm -hmm. Sunday. Come down after church. Come down early if you're an early riser. Be part of yoga both days. Yeah. Come grab lunch. Mm -hmm. It'll be open from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Sunday the 24th. Picnic tables. There will be picnic tables. Um, there will just be a lot of activity going okay. on. We'll have stilt walkers this year. Children's activities. Children's activities. Are, is there a whole area for children? Mm -hmm. There will be a children's tent set up. Okay. And then there will also be an artist tent set up for Lower Town artists who will be showcasing their work so that you can familiarize yourself with what kind of gallery they operate. And then get your map and head mm -hmm. out from there. And then there. head down okay. to see each of those. Don't forget your highlighters because you want to highlight yeah. where everybody's going to be. Um, just remember World Headquarters at the Texaco Station mm -hmm. and that's at the corner of 7th and Madison. Madison. 7th and Madison, 7 streets out from the river, 4 over from Broadway. Can't miss it. And I hope that we'll see you down there, paducaarts.com, because I know they've already got paducatravel bookmarked. Right. Um, you can go back and forth between the two. You'll be in the know and, uh, and Come bring your friends. It is the holiday weekend, so I know you want to do something special. Be part of Paducah. Plus, Willie Nelson, Monday night. What else can you ask for? I know. <laughs> it's a very full weekend. Only in Paducah. Only in Paducah. We'll see you downtown, Lower Town, during uh, uh, the Lower Town Art and Music Festival, Memorial Day weekend, 2009. Be there. Thanks for joining us.